Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes.
to see you get on. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. <laughs> that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so <laughs> provided by our, our I've been proud to so <laughs> passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome. To City 17. Were you the only ones it's on that train? to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to our final new urban center. I thought so much of City 17 that, in, that I have elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by... I've been proud to call City 17 my home. see them go. So, whether you are here to stay or... Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City 7. Wait a minute. Where are you taking me? Me? I thought so much of this. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I'm working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later.
to suppress our reproductive cycle. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. basic biological impulses, with all of its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression of us read again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your question. <laughs> try to answer every possible question you have on voice. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, Overtly compelled to change and push. Instinct must be expanded. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of the urge to reproduce.
o'clock. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Permit full ration reward. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention, please. I better hurry. Of 
The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said that you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might that you might not have a map. This way, Gordon. <laughs> 